Hi guys and welcome to All Things Nautical. In this video we will be looking at a sailing question and the particular type of sailing that we'll be dealing with here is Makata sailing which means that we'll be covering distances that are more than 600 nautical miles. So the question says the following, it says find the true course and distance sail between the following positions. So we're given two positions. The first position, position A, will be at a latitude of 29 degrees and 36 minutes south and 108 degrees 27.2 minutes east. Then from in position B, we have 15 degrees 25 minutes south and 71 degrees 34.1 minutes east. So we can see there's actually quite a big difference here. So that tells us that we're going to be covering a distance of greater than 600 miles. And that, of course, means we will need to use Mercator setting. So what we'll be doing firstly is we need to find the meridional parts in this case over here in this table, the center column. We need to find the meridional parts for the latitude at A and also for the latitude at B. So we're going to go into Norris, into the Norris table, and in the Norris table at 29 degrees 36 minutes south, we'll find the meridional parts there, which is 1849.16. And that will be named south as well because the latitude is in fact south. Then likewise, we'll go into the tables again at, at 15 degrees 25 minutes south. And then we'll actually find the meridional parts there for that latitude, which is 930.15 south. Now, what we need to do is we need to get the differences um, between each one of these, uh, these three items. So... Firstly, the D latitude in degrees between the latitude of A and the latitude of B. Okay, so 29 degrees 36 minutes south minus 15 degrees 25 minutes south. So we're going from a latitude that's about 29 and a half degrees south. We're going northwards to a, lat a latitude which is only 15 degrees south. So it's a northward a northwards movement. And the movement will be the difference in between these two. So we're going to subtract them. And that's basically going to give us then a latitude, a change in latitude of 14 degrees, 11.1 minutes north. Likewise, if we're looking at our longitude, the longitude changer, we're going from a longitude which is 108 degrees east. We're going to a position which is less east. So in essence, we're traveling westwards. I okay, guess so we're going to get that difference there which is 36 degrees, 53.1 minutes west. So what we can do from there straight away is once we have these values, these values are given in degree and minute format. So we can just turn that into a minute value, um, just a simple minute value. And all we're going to do is going to take that value there and we multiply it by 60. So we're going to take that D latitude, we multiply it by 60. That's going to give us 851 minutes north. So that's our DLAT uh, between A and B. And then the longitude, the change in longitude between A and B will then be the same story. So we're going to take that value there in degrees. We're going to multiply it by 60. And then we're going to get 2,213.1 minutes west. Once we've found that, we can basically now go and check what the difference is in, in, in the meridional parts. So the meridional parts over here, we have as 1849.16 south and then 930.15 south. So in this case, they're both south. So we can simply find the difference between the two. And again, because we're going from a position which is further south to a position which is less south, the shift, therefore, is actually north. So the change in meridional parts, the difference in meridional parts, is 919.01 north. And note the fact that I didn't put in any minutes there because it is not actually equal to a minute of latitude. So these meridional parts basically work on the same on, uh, on the same principle as the minutes of longitude. They're measured on the same scale. So if we're looking at our triangles, that is actually what we can see over here. So if we've got two sailing triangles, and this one has got a departure and a D-latitude in miles and a distance in miles, and all of this is compared to a course angle theta, which we know will be northwest. Now, that same triangle can also be projected on here, and this same angle, uh, the same course angle, when used in conjunction with 
um, the, the difference in meridional parts and the longitude they, these two triangles will then actually correlate with this angle being the same so what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to take what what do we have already we already have a d longitude and we have a d latitude and we have a difference in meridional parts but we don't have a departure and we can't find a departure in this case um, we can't use the departure because at such great distances um, with these, uh, this is quite a big d latitude that we're working with in this case so if we've got a big change in in latitude then this dip, we need to in order to find a departure using the mean latitude would actually cause for an inaccurate calculation so we're going to be using the meridional parts instead because they've been adjusted um, to actually correlate to the Mercator chart projection um, and it's very useful especially for long distances so what we need to do is we can actually find theta by simply saying that we tan theta equals opposite over adjacent so therefore tan theta equals d longitude over the difference in meridional parts so if we want to find theta we're going to use that formula there so we'll be doing just that tan theta equals d long over dmp and when we calculate that we actually find ta uh, theta to be 67.449 degrees true so basically 67 and a half degrees true and remember when we're dealing with these true courses we must try and work towards more or less a half degree so in this case with theta we know that the change is north so we're going north and we're also going west so if we're going northwest we must be going between 270 and 360 degrees true so if we want to find a true course there then this angle over here actually needs to be subtracted from 360 so we're going north theta degrees west so that's exactly what we're going to apply in this case so if we're going from north westwards we're working from 360 degrees down so we're going to take 360 we're going to subtract 67 and a half and that's going to give us then a true course of 292.5 degrees 292 and a half degrees true so that's half of our half of our question answered the last thing we need to find then is the distance now the distance we're going back to this triangle over here we already now have theta Okay, so we just calculated theta over here. Now these triangles correlate, so that theta is exactly the same as this theta over here. So all we need to do is find distance. So we can say that if cosine theta, cos theta equals the d latitude, the adjacent, over the distance, hypotenuse, so cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, cos theta is d lat over distance, then that means that then distance must be equal to the d latitude divided by cos theta so that formula then distance equals d latitude divided by cos theta is what we're going to be using in this case to calculate distance so we can run that calculation and that's then going to give us a distance a total distance of 2213 miles so the answer to the question finding find the true course in the distance cell between those positions so position a up there position b up there and there's your true course and your distance calculated by means of Mercator sailing using the Mercator triangles.